up to 10 different medications that I have to take every day for cancer. Uh, most of them are for nausea. I take Claritin and Tylenol to help with the joint pain. And there's antibiotics that I have to take to prevent infection where my incision is from the original biopsy. How was I diagnosed? I went in for a nuisance cough. They decided to do an x-ray because they thought I had pneumonia and they discovered that uh, there was a large mass six inches by my lung and heart. They told me to go to the hospital that afternoon for a CT scan and then a CT biopsy the next day, needle biopsy, and that came back negative. It's a bit of a relief. Uh, they then decided that they wanted to go in and remove the, the mass itself because it has affected my breathing. Um, what they would do is quite invasive. They'd have to go in through the chest cavity, uh, through your sternum like they would for an open heart surgery uh, to remove it. Before the doctor decided to do it, he ordered special blood tests to see if there were any types of tumor markers just to double check to make sure we were doing the right thing. And the test came back showing tumor markers and they were exceptionally high. After that, the doctor decided to take more tissue and do a proper biopsy from the mass and they'd have to make an incision on the chest right above the mass. This was an inpatient surgery and I was in the hospital for a day. After that, then I got a call showing that the mass was cancerous and what I have is known as a mediastinal non-seminomous germ cell tumor. Uh, pathology then demonstrated it was a mixed germ cell tumor, which basically told the doctors what kind of drugs they needed to give me to uh, defeat it. at the clinic, just uh, waiting my turn here to meet with my oncologist. The treatment plan is a five-day stay and we'll receive three different types of chemotherapy. It's called VIP. I'll be receiving chemo each day for five days along with a 24-hour drip of Mesna, which is a different drug that will help protect my kidneys during treatment. So these are the pumps, and up here is the different medications. Um, we've got a uh, 24 hour drip of uh, one form of chemo in here. It's called uh, ephosphamide with mesna, which is protecting my bladder. Uh, then this one is etoposide, and then the back one here is fluids. Just catching it right now to switch from the etop to the cisplat. And I'll show you where those go in. So, this is my main IV. And we've got all three coming in. You can see all three coming out of the pumps going right into my arm there, into a large vein. And on the other side is my second IV, which will be hooked up to the cisplatin. The cisplatin doesn't play nice with the mesna. So that's why we have to have it in a different IV. So they can both go into my body at the same time, but they can't come by in the same tube. So that's kind of the business on uh, how I'm getting my medication here. 
day four in the evening here, just getting about halfway through my chemo for the night. I'm going to try to go to bed here pretty soon. Um, a lot of visitors today, so it's a long day, a couple naps, some decent food, ready to go home. Um, pretty tired this time around, but uh, other than that, they've done a pretty good job of mitigating most of the side effects. There's typically a lot of nausea, upset stomach associated with this sort of thing, and especially with an aggressive treatment like this, but um, they've done a really good job of of uh, staying in front of it so that you know I'm missing most of the side effects just kind of taking an ass kicking. One of the one of the challenges that I'm dealing with is um, there's lots of things I can't just do and one of them is getting up in the morning and getting ready. I have, have to wait until one of the nurses or one of the nurses assistants can come in here and help me uh, get uh, take care of my IVs so I can route them through my sleeves and get a shirt on and, and get ready for the day. And uh, if I decide to get cleaned up for the day, if I want to take a, an actual shower instead of just a wipe down, you know, then they've got to cover me in plastic wherever there's an IV or anything like that. So um, it, uh, you know, the treatments are, are going well, uh, just a lot of little tiny things that need to be handled a little differently than when you're at home or when you're healthy. Okay, the machines are off. That is the end of round three.